Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Ice Man. We're back again with another video. Yes, I'm showing my face more nowadays. It just seems like a great idea, especially when we're making these anime videos. You know what I'm saying? I, bet, I, I feel like I feel like we can connect more together, you and I, if I show my face. More. But on a serious note, today's video is going to be about the top five most complicated big brothers in anime. Now, I'm going I'm to I'm say this at the beginning of the video. We're going to talk about these brothers and their relationship with their siblings, right? What makes them a complicated big brother in the first place. We're well, not necessarily the fact that they're a big brother. So this, this top five is comprised of complicated relationships between siblings. Let's get on with the list. So number five, you all know it, Atachi Uchiha. Itachi Uchiha has his relationship with Sasuke to where as to Itachi kind of unalive their parents and the rest of their clan. And throughout the entirety of the show, we see Itachi as a bad guy when in reality, he actually wasn't a bad guy. His family was staging a coup against the village and he and another individual wanted to stop it. And so in order to do this, he ended up enlisting the help of Obito Uchiha to unalive the Uchiha clan. And this is a major plot point in Sasuke's story because this is what drives Sasuke in order to be as strong as he possibly can, taking sending him into the clutches of people like Orochimaru and all that good stuff in order to gain power. So Itachi basically rocked this whole man's world to the point where he went on the path of evil. Even though he didn't technically kill anybody, but Donzo. And Donzo kinda did it to itself. Number four, Tatsuya Shiba. If you ever seen the irregular at Magic High, yeah, that guy. This is the big brother you don't mess with. Tatsuya Shiba is the big brother of big brothers in this show him and his sister are close so close to the fact that it's, it's kind of on the borderline of creepy to most people but his relationship with his sister also has a little bit of a strain to it because of his seriousness Tatsuya is very serious in everything that he does and he's not very magically inclined but he can read people's magic activations like a book like like instantly and it takes a lot to be able to do that because it's a lot of numbers and they, they even say in the show how it's a bunch of series of numbers and all that good stuff that he would have to calculate in an instant and his brain moves like a computer this is how he's disconnected from his sister a little bit he doesn't really have like the emotional capability to be emotionally available for her he's there for her in every other way financially their family takes care of everything but like if anybody says anything about his sister feel bad for you because he coming and he might one shot you this dude is really that in this show like you should, you should check check it out number three gohan dragon ball z i don't know any other gohans but we're, we're talking about gohan from dragon ball z gohan and goten's relationship could have been a lot better we could have seen them be a lot closer to each other yeah they seem like they have a pretty good relationship in the show but we don't really get to see that we see goten click up with trunks more than we see him click up with his own brother like does Chi Chi ever let him go and spend a night at Gohan house or something? That's what I would do if I had a big brother. I'm the oldest brother. I'm not feeling it. But no, we don't we don't see none of that. We just see Goten and Trunks. Goten and Trunks fuse. Like not never Goten and Gohan. If Goten and Gohan confused, that'd be crazy. That'd be crazy work. But alas, we never get that. We never get to see them actually be close. Maybe it's because of the, the age gap between them and Gohan being like a full on war veteran at this point because the whole cell situation number two brass d blood this anime is blood lad and if you've seen this anime then you know that brass is a piece of sh no i'm just playing Bra brass is really not that bad of a big brother their little sister really looks up to brass but stas cannot get behind that he can't get jiggy with that because brass kind of shot him in the chest as a kid but he didn't know all this time it was to you know suppress his power stas is really powerful and this bullet was there to suppress this and when he meets up with brad again brad determines that he's you know ready which who who gave that man the ability to do that like who gave him the authority to be like yeah you ready to, to have this power now he he takes the bullet out and stas gets control of his full abilities now stas's full range of abilities is potentially disastrous to himself and other people that's probably why brad did it but stas don't understand that until way later on in the show so their relationship was at a disappear because Brass took took the responsibility of parenthood, I guess. Number one, Zeke Jaeger. Do I need to say more? Do I really need to say more about Zeke and Aaron's relationship? First of all, first of all, Aaron and Zeke have different moms. And if you watch the show of Attack on Time, then you know that the complication behind the parentage of these two siblings is absolutely crazy. 
and what happens between our moms absolutely crazy so the complication between these two comes at the point where they're enemies they're, they're literally enemies at first of course and then later on way later on they do pair up if you haven't seen attack on titan i'm not going to spoil much for you other than the fact that aaron has a brother i'm not going to spoil much for you you should go and watch that definitely all of it all of it i know most attack on titan fans sound like that i'm tired i'm sorry i don't mean to be too aggressive but all of it for sure and um zeke and zeke and aaron's relationship do turn into that of a brotherly bond later for the sake of the the good of who fucking knows like I, i'm gonna be honest with you i don't even I, i'm i'm still fairly confused on who, to to the good of who is them to being like clicked up because yeah i feel like aaron's father did a very terrible job with with his yeah yeah, he probably should have at least told Aaron about his brother and all that, like, way before he, he, he gave Aaron the ability. To, you know, anyway, go watch Second Time if you haven't seen it. If you made it this far in the video, like the video. Comment below, who's your favorite anime big brother? And how do they treat their younger sibling? And, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay cool. I said I wake up in the morning and turn my trap on. And if you think it ain't scrubbed, bro, you think wrong.